So Lava 3 is right around the corner, and Mark Zuckerberg is buying up every H100 to use the waste heat to smoke meat. Smoking meat. However, in my opinion, the most exciting work in the beginning of 2024 has been in open source 7 billion parameter models. 7 billion parameter LLMs keep getting more and more powerful, and January just keeps delivering every single day. This past week was no exception, and I want to go over some of the best models I've found so far. One of them has a really cool name, the other you maybe have heard of, but there have been massive improvements in what's going on with it. So let's get into it. Welcome to AI Flux. So, so many of these are coming out, it's hard to understand what the real focus is. And for now, the real focus is improving DPO, fine-tuning performance, and predominantly focusing on coding and working out from there. A few of these have also even managed to beat the Instruct model of Mixtral 7B's initial release, but stay tuned for that a little bit later. So the first model I want to go over is a really interesting model that's called Neural Daredevil 7B. So this is actually a second evolution of an earlier model from M. Lebon called Daredevil 7B. The key here is that again, it's using this really cool kind of open framework from Argilla called Distill Label. And basically we'll go into this a little bit later, but it's a really cool way to streamline the process of collecting data, training and applying DPO to get better performance. And although there've been a few models that have outperformed this model as of now, this model made huge jumps, at least according to the no suite, and I think it's worth mentioning. So if you're on hooking face and you're looking at kind of the benchmark stack here, these actually, uh, depending on the author, update in real time. So you can see here that this neural daredevil model actually beats Beagle 147B. So the reason I bring up this model is this benchmark right here. So you can see that Neural Daredevil 7B in its second iteration is actually beating Beagle 147 b And depending on the benchmarks you look at, these have kind of been trading spots over the past week. And what's cool is as time goes on, and as more researchers look at this, we start to understand why models are better than the others and which benchmarks actually should be trusted more. We're actually making a whole video on how to actually decipher and which benchmarking tools you should actually trust for these open source LLMs. So what's cool is at least in terms of a high level overview, this is beating Beagle 147B, and the biggest jump that this provided was over Open Hermes 2.5 Mistral 7B, which at the time of its release was the fastest. So the reason I want to go over this is it got so much better so quickly, and I would largely attribute that to Distill Label and DPO. So we covered in our last video about Beagle 147B what DPO is, and this is basically one of the most popular ways to eke a little bit more performance out of these models outside of Qlora tunes. So I'll link Daredevil 7B and, uh, Dare and Neural Daredevil 7B with its DPO tuning below. And for those of you who are also curious, I'll link the GitHub repo for Distill Label Argilla as well. This diagram, I think, demonstrates what's going on pretty well. So basically, anytime you're working with a model these days, there is kind of a mixture of uh, human curation in terms of a data set and artificial data or synthetic data in most cases coming from LLMs, which is kind of interesting. So basically, there are a bunch of different ways you can label data. There are companies like Scale AI that probably have the most well-known systems for this. And for the AI work I've done at larger AI companies, they all have their own workflows for this. So basically, you have to have the labeling prompt uh, output format, the generation prompt principles or the task. Both, both of these are technically tasks. You load these into a generator, you have a labeler, and the initial input data set also all kind of flows into the pipeline with these generated tasks and labeled tasks. Distill label makes it really easy to push this all through to end up with a data set you can actually train against and the eventual result is a fine-tuned LLM. There are benefits here in terms of speed, there are benefits here in terms of just general tooling. And it streamlines what um, in many cases is the most time intensive process of fine tuning or creating LLMs from other existing data sets, which is kind of cool. So if you want to look into this, um, this is linked below. So I think the biggest update within the 7B model world, uh, although it's coming from Mixtral, which is a sparse mixture of experts model, so it's a little bit different than 7B models, is that Technium and Nose Research have released a Nose Hermes to Mixtral 8x7B evolution. Uh, basically, there are two different variants here. They're SFT and DPO and just FT, F, SFT only variants. And the biggest breakthrough here is that as far as I know, it's the first Mixtral based model to beat Mistral AI's initial Mixtral Instruct model release. And I've validated this pretty well within my own testing. Technium says he's done some here as well. 
and I'm willing to bet, as well as it says in this tweet, that this is probably one of the best open source LLMs in terms of general capability available. Of course, there are going to be a few that are specifically capable in certain areas. Um, for instance, it's now possible to run 8K variants of Phi 2 on just a few 3090s, but I really, really like uh, Mixtral. I think it's still the root uh, and the core of the leading edge and the absolute state of the art when it comes to 7 billion parameter models. So I'll also link to the NOS research announcement. Uh, they also just released a bunch of crazy cool work, so you should follow them if you aren't following them already, along with Technium. And what's cool is there are some really nice, I would say not so cherry-picked examples here. There is code for data visualizations, um, performing back translation, and also writing some sort of prose in a requested style, which is kind of cool. Uh, so coding is a curious one that Mixtral has always been quite good at, especially when you're giving it pretty complex problems to show data. I've noticed that Mixtral, especially this latest DPO fine tune from Nose, does particularly well with coding problems that require some kind of visualization uh, either in 2D or 3D space, which is kind of cool. So when you're dealing with points, I've noticed that. The other cool thing here is it's actually still quite good at writing. And there are some coding models that really struggle with that because they keep expecting kind of an instruct input output back and forth. And they really, really struggle with that a lot of the time. And the other thing that, that these recent 7B LLMs, especially this mixture of evolution, do quite well with is understanding multi-step propagation. So basically what that means is if I give it two different prompts and I basically start two different conversations that have similar context within the same instance, so I, I don't hit clear or refresh the page, I can then refer back to something I said and the model is aware of that. And I can confirm that there are a lot of 7B models that really struggle with that. So multi-step coherence, I think is the next big thing. And of course, there's sometimes where you can eke out GPT-4 to even miss these kinds of things. But that's one of the bigger challenges we still have to deal with. But the biggest thing here is, again, it's how much this evolution of Mixtral 8x7b actually competes with Mixtral Instruct. So it's not a wild improvement, but in many cases, I think it's a more meaningful improvement. And meaningful improvements is, I think, the thing that people building benchmarks need to focus on the most. Because it's not necessarily something that will always be measured the same way every time. So evolving the data sets and evolving the sets of questions these use also to prevent kind of a, a slow balkanization of RLHF questions where eventually every, everyone's going to figure out what they are and performance will just increase like inflation does in an economy. It's a really similar phenomena. But yeah, for here, um, I think in terms of capability and also in terms of enough benchmarks, the uh, Hermes 2 mixed real 8x7b improvements uh, are quite evident. So I'll also link to these SFT DPO and SFT only variants. I might at some point start to put up demos for these. It's just, it's a little expensive right now and it takes a bit of time, but I'm working with Kevin Duru to work on this. And what's also cool that we don't normally see is that NOS Research also developed and released a QLORA adapter that can be attached to Mixtral, uh, to the Mixtral base model to get the benefits of DPO training on other mixtural fine tunes, which is kind of cool. So it used to be that you kind of could pick or choose a few specific benefits. And now we're getting a lot of those thanks to a little bit more tooling from the NOS research team. Again, I think more people should know this, but a quick kind of general tip with a lot of these 7B models, especially with mixtural, is system prompts are huge. Like this is how you get the best out of these models and it's how you provide the best context without having the model guess. So when the model is trying to guess or reach at what you're saying, at least in terms of context that are even hard to provide in text, that's when results start to sway quite a bit. And um, even adding ex additional context down the line won't actually help as much as you might think. And the biggest thing, the biggest announcement that I am super excited about and I cannot wait for is uh, Technium and Nose Research basically admitting that they are working on a function calling model. So in my opinion, this is almost more exciting than the Mistral team announcing that they're actually, uh, or that they have been working on AI agents built on top of Mistral for about a month. So really, really cool stuff going on in this space right now. 7B models and uh, PMOE models that are built on top of 7 billion parameter experts or I think the most exciting thing going on right now, of course, GPT-4 is, is what it is, and, they're, and the big companies are doing what they're doing, and Mark Zuckerberg is buying all the H100s. But 
This is very cool stuff. And quite frankly, to me, even though Llama 3 technically is going to be open source, this is where the core effort's going on and where the most exciting stuff is going on. So as always, uh, I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and share wherever you want to share. And we'll see you in the next video.